underneath. The three buried. Katrina Pardee. Prince jumps out on Martin. The pull up. How quick is wow. that? Over two Baylor defenders. And that's been talked about among the players. Pardee for three. Buries it. Swing it out. Ray for three. Bang. And you're not backing down at all. This reminds me of the start they had in the Oklahoma game. Martin's fouled. But it doesn't matter. Guards in the Big 12 and usually has the toughest assignment. The fact that she doesn't typically foul is pretty remarkable. Montgomery, who didn't score in the semifinals, got four in this ball game, and the lead balloons back to 11. So Cohen is having to defend Martin. Boy, she got stuck behind the oh, screen. Another three. Three on two. Pardee will take it with a right hand in the layup. Missy Heider gave that report at the beginning of the game about the point guard oh matchup. My. We're kind of giggling a little bit like, oh, we're not going to run a 2-3 zone, and they do. Muldrow misses with the tip. The third quarter, but not being aggressive. Muldrow for three, yes! Huge. Tynese Martin finally gets a basket to go down. And Cho, the turnaround, Cho gets a piece of it. And then stolen by Ray, my goodness. That's the kind of play you need to make if you're West Virginia. Don't play scared. Don't play not to lose. And that's going to do it. West Virginia will upset the number two team in the country and the top seed in the tournament. West Virginia with their second conference tournament title. When we talked to Kim Mulkey on Monday before the final regular season game, she said, you know, the tournament... Sometimes they're tough, and they're about the Cinderella's. Well, West Virginia, you can put on your slipper now because not only are you going to the big dance, you earned an automatic bid yep. to the NCAA tournament. There are no questions now. They held on for all they could in the fourth quarter, but Tynese Martin, what a remarkable tournament, a remarkable game for the sophomore.